Friday and Saturday. Fridays from 1 to 3 Eastern Standard Time and Saturdays from 3 to 5 Eastern Standard Time on informedradio.com. This is where news the controlled mainstream media ignores is our top story and your voice is heard. And let's hear your voice. Give us a call. 772-905-3018. A lot of uh, unrest in the world and a lot of news going on. Um, have quite a bit of things to discuss today. Uh, just want to give a shout out again to uh, the We Are Change community uh, across the world, all the chapters. Um, you know, unity is our strength, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and we must uh, be the change we wish to see in the world. So what's actually been going on uh, recently? Well, the Vatican's calling for a central world bank. Uh, the Vatican has called for a global public authority and a world central bank to rule over financial affairs in the wake of the engineered uh, economic collapse. Uh, unbelievable but true, yes, uh, the uh, Catholic Church is now going to be pushing towards world government uh, as, as if we didn't know what the Vatican is behind. I mean, let's face it, the Vatican had ties uh, with the Nazis, and uh, unfortunately, the Pope is, uh, is a former Hitler Youth, ladies and gentlemen. And being a Catholic, um, I'm not against the religion as much as I'm against the hypocrisy. Uh, the faith is really, I should call it faith. I mean, we all should have faith. Religion is, all that religion does is cause uh, division, and uh, it's, the, it's the way over the ages that uh, populations have been controlled. So you have to understand that faith is a very powerful thing and everybody has individual faith and that's what needs to be protected. Um, but the actual religions, many of them, uh, probably all, uh, to one degree or another, are uh, quite corrupted. Uh, you know, it's, it's just, a, um, unfortunately, you have uh, terrible things going on. I mean, like, for example, the Catholic Church uh, opposes abortion. However, um, they've been caught for decades, now we know for centuries, of abusing uh, young boys and, and uh, molesting them. So it's just like a bizarre uh, dichotomy that is unfortunately uh, prevalent in not just one faith. So uh, the, the Vatican calling for a world central bank uh, is a very, very significant thing, ladies and gentlemen, because the Bible teaches about... Um, you know, the end times, so they're being complicit in that, like they're being complicit in abusing children. Now, I'm also going to be talking at great length today about the child uh, sex trafficking and uh, kidnapping, as well as uh, uh, voluntary, uh, people going into voluntary servitude to pimps that are in high school. Uh, it's prevalent around the world. Uh, and then there are companies like DynCor that literally shuttle, that take these children that, uh, you know, like, they take them out of the country and give them to these rich Saudis. I mean, that movie Taken wasn't really so far from the truth. And in fact, it was with Liam uh, Nielsen. Uh, he, he uh, his daughter is abducted and sold to some Arab guy, on, some billionaire. And uh, it happens, ladies and gentlemen, and it happens more than everyone knows about. It's very underreported. Uh, here in the state of Connecticut, um, there's some, it, it's in one of the wealthiest states in the United States. Uh, it, there was a major trial uh, in 2007 uh, regarding this trafficking of, of underage children and regular and, and school age children that weren't all runaways. It's not, that's a big farce that these are runaway kids that fall into the, like the wrong crowd. It is just not true. Uh, they are approached by children of their own age uh, in the schools and they are led into this life. Uh, I will go over that in detail later. So what I'm trying to say is that, I mean, this is the reason why I'm doing this. There are so many things that the new, so much news that the controlled mainstream media ignores because it, it affects their bottom line, or they literally are, um, are, are involved in some way through, through association. And we'll talk about that at great lengths, as far as who owns all these corporations that we buy our products from, and that there's only 147 corporations that control the world. And we'll be going over that as well. 
So a lot of re it's a really good show. We've got a lot of good stuff. Please tune in. If you have any questions or you'd like to join in and chime in on anything that we're discussing here uh, at We Are Change, um, give us a call, 772-905-3018. Again, I'm Howard Nima, and you're listening to informedradio.com. And what else do we have? Well, this is interesting. A new audit of the Federal Reserve released uh, on October 19th detailed widespread conflicts of interest involving directors of the regional banks. The most powerful entity in the United States is riddled with conflicts of interest, so says uh, Senator Bernie Sanders uh, after reviewing uh, the Government Accountability Office report. The study required by Sanders' amendment to last year's Wall Street reform law examined Fed practices never before subjugated to such independent expert scrutiny. Yeah, we have to scrutinize them more. Now, I'm not a real big fan of Bernie Sanders, but at least uh, he does, he is a constitutionalist uh, to, to some degree. Um, you know, as far as uh, his thinkings, uh, he's a little bit of more communist in my, some of his viewpoints. But anyway, um, we just have to bring attention and light on this Federal Reserve criminal crime syndicate that is running not only the, <clears throat> excuse me, this criminal crime syndicate that is not only running uh, a, a criminal operation to defraud and uh, steal trillions from the American people, but is involved in the very drug trafficking and the very uh, uh, covert war activity and the military industrial complex. So um, you've got to understand the way this thing is working. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's a very, very uh, tightly knit, uh, devious uh, web that is all connected and meets in the middle. In the middle are these controllers, the New World Order controllers, the ruling families, the elite families of the world, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, the DuPonts. There's a, there's, there's a 13 bloodline families. I mean, I don't want to go into too much, I don't want to go digress too much, but this is what's going on. So the Government Accounting Office detailed instance after instance of top executives of corporations and financial institutions using their influence as Federal Reserve Directors. Now listen to this. They're Federal Reserve Directors. They're bankers. Their own banks are profiting by all of this. And they're regulating the banks that they're, they're regulating the very banks that are causing all the trouble. So, and they, it's just incredible. Uh, this is really what's going on. Not only do they run the banks, they run the institutions that regulate the banks. So we have to understand, you can check, you can look into this, the corporate affiliations of the Fed directors uh, include General Electric, of course, who pays no taxes, J.P. Morgan Chase, the Rockefellers there, Lehman Brothers, you know, you got them all there, you got them all there, the Rothschilds are all in there, and reputable, reputational risks to the Federal Reserve System, giving the banking industry the power to both elect and serve as Fed directors creates an appearance of a conflict of interest. Would you think so? All right, enough beating that to death. But uh, the report is, uh, is, is out there. It's a nonpartisan report uh, from a research arm of Congress. And you can find it. It's a 108 report, page report that found that at least 18 specific current and former Fed board members were affiliated with banks and companies that received emergency loans from the Federal Reserve during the financial crisis. Remember that. Don't also forget that MSNBC, who is a media organization, got over $200 million from the, from the TARP money to spew their, their leftist propaganda, and I hate saying leftist because it's like this right-left thing is bullshit, the communist propaganda, because we are moving into a total socialist, communist, fasc a mix of socialism, communism, and fascism. That is what is going to be coming down the pike, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't care if you're a Democrat, I don't care if you're a right-wing Republican, I hate you if you're one of these neocons that want to keep, keep warring, okay? And I hate you if you want to take away our guns because you're, you don't understand the way history uh, repeats itself and how important it is. The only reason that we haven't been overrun yet is because many people own guns. That's why they want to restrict them in this country. Uh, that ain't never going to happen. I'll tell you that right now. I don't care. They can, take, they can outlaw all the guns they want. Um, but you know, if you really want to start uh, a, a revolution, you try to take away the, American, the Americans' guns. You try to take away a, a, a good, hard-working American with two kids, loves his family, loves his land. You try it. Anyhow, that's what they're doing, the gun grabbers. So watch out for the gun grabbers because they're going to get you. Their, their only purpose is to disarm us like all these other countries, and then they come in and enslave the population, and you can't fight back, and then it's just ridiculous. It's just, it's over and over again. They completely 
Uh, this, is, this is their modus operandi. They do this country to country. Look at Argentina. Look at what happened in Argentina. Look at Zimbabwe. Look at, um, I mean, my God, you could just look at uh, all of these uh, countries that are, where they take away the populations, the, 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 the rights for the guns, and the populations are slaughtered. Uh, or you limit, the, you limit, like what they try to do here is they try to limit. Now they want to limit speech. They want to limit what you can say on the internet. They want to limit that. They, they want to cut off on YouTube anything. The federal government wants to, rem to remove anything that uh, is, is criticizing the government. Are you kidding me? This is what our country was based upon. In fact, Thomas Jefferson said, and it's written in the Constitution, in, in the Declaration of Independence, that if our government should ever become corrupt, that it is our duty, honor, and and uh, privilege to rise up against the tyranny and take back our corrupt government from these criminals who have hijacked it. That is exactly why I'm here, man. I don't know what else to say. There is nothing more important than getting back our governments from the criminals. And they're all the same criminals. They own all the companies. They own all the countries. They're in every politician's pocket. Well, not everyone, but they have enough significant influence to get their Agenda 21 protocols put into place in little towns like Beacon Falls, Connecticut. Okay, getting uh, alliances with uh, the mayor of Torrington, Connecticut, to go to uh, uh, China to see how this city operates there in the Sister City program. So wake up, world government is actually here, they're just forcing it on us, and then they're going to take away all of our sovereignty and rights if we sign on to these things. And next thing you know, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, if we don't, uh, allow, if we allow this to happen, we deserve what we get. And it's going to be worse than, than, than Hitler because they're already killing us, slow killing us. They're already soft killing us. They're already by stealth with, the, with, with additives to the food, which are actually drugs. Why do, you think drugs, why do you think you love those Doritos so much and you can't stop eating them? Because the combination of these so-called preservatives are actually, you know, narking up your brain, okay? There's a lot of stuff. It's an, it's, it's, a, it's an, I, as I said, the very first day I, I came on air, I said this is a bottomless pit of evil. So I could speak for two hours today, two hours tomorrow, two hours every, every day. I could speak 20 hours every day. And I would, we, we would never get to the, to the extent uh, of, of the evil. There is so much. And it's all right in front of your face, but nobody pays attention to it. Nobody cares. Because really, they've been mind controlled not to care, not to notice, not to realize. It is just such an, uh, an abomination. And I, I say that with an A, not an O, because sometimes I like to call America the abomination. Um, but it really is an abomination that, um, that Americans are so blind and so, uh, you know, trusting of their government and trusting of these, these, um, these Hollywood-esque you know, Madison Avenue slick willy uh, politicians and their, and their craftiness and, um, and, and, and buying into this bullshit. It's just astounding to me, actually. I, I, can't even, I can't even put it into words. Now, Forbes has uh, released a report. i got to thank my, fr my good friend Jen Zorden, who is a, by the way, pistol instructor here in Torrington, Connecticut. Um, so uh, we, 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 we sort of fancy... Uh, in a very, very big way, our rights in the state, in this part of the state. Um, a lot of great liberty-loving people in Torrington. In fact, uh, We Are Change is organizing a, a Torrington chapter. If anybody would like to get interest, interested in, uh, if you're listening from Torrington and you'd like to be interested, uh, you could, I'm going to be posting this on, on my personal Facebook page, Howard Nima. Uh, they, there is going to be a starting of uh, a We Are Change Torrington chapter for Northwest Connecticut. Uh, and uh, nearby residents, anybody that wants liberty and freedom and sees what's happening and wants to make a difference, not listen to us talk, but do things. Get your own radio shows, getting involved in the community, going to meetings, uh, bringing this to the attention of the authorities and the, and the people uh, of, of uh, political importance. Like when I was discussing, uh, the, the, we're going to go over the, um, the problem with child trafficking 